I'm Dr. Marilyn Bitz Freeman. I'm the group manager for immunology and virology at the Division of Consolidated Laboratory Services. Clinical laboratory science is a hot job because we identify diseases in order to protect human health. Unfortunately, people get sick every day, and our role here at the laboratory is to help to diagnose disease, and by knowing where the disease exists, we can help prevent it in the future. As a kid, I found it fun to know about the things that you could not see. And when I learned that bacteria and viruses were the small things making me sick, I wanted to know more about them. In middle school, I wasn't the biggest fan of science. I really began to like it when I got to high school. In high school, we had labs that allowed me to use my hands and visualize things under the microscope. When I first went to college, I thought, I am going to be a doctor. This is what's for me. As I continued with my education, I realized it just wasn't for me, and I needed to find a different path. I decided to get into clinical laboratory science because it allowed me to explore the bacteria and viruses that I grew to love, but do it behind the scenes. As part of my job, my team and I work to test samples from humans. In order to treat the samples, we have to give them food that's healthy for them. We give them sugars and glucose and water in order to feed them. During the preparation step, we use a piece of equipment that spins the sample at a high rate of speed. This is called a centrifuge. The centrifuge helps us to separate the viruses from anything else that may be present in the samples. Okay, this is our incubator. It heats up to 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is where they'll live. Some viruses grow quickly and you'll see them growing in 24 hours. Other viruses could take seven or eight days. After the samples have been incubating at 98.6 degrees, we actually perform a step called reading the tubes. Reading the tubes is just like reading a book. We open them up, we place them on a microscope, and we look to see what may be happening. To confirm the presence of the virus, we use a special chemical that creates a light under a fluorescent microscope. Samples that have a virus present will appear green, and samples that do not have virus present are red. The work we do here provides data to the Virginia Department of Health. The Department of Health uses the data that we have generated in order to track the disease and prevent its future spread. Clinical laboratory science is important to the future because diseases evolve and change every day. We're going to need people in the workforce moving forward in order to identify them as they change and move. For more information or to get involved, go to ideastations.org slash science